Hi everybody, uh, my name is Carla. And I'm Jason. And we have been doing Universal Yums for a few months now. And we have been only posting them to Instagram because we thought, let's just see if people would enjoy seeing us unbox Universal Yums and eat all the fun goodies. But recently, um, my husband decided we should try and do a YouTube channel. Yeah, and we think that we could have enough of an audience to make this into a YouTube channel. So we actually filmed an episode, our newest episode recently, and that was with the, um, the Christmas box. And if you want to check out that video, uh, it's tied to this introduction. So keep watching. Yeah, so keep watching. And uh, let us know if you like our video, because we'll keep posting if people like this. So, uh, keep in mind that we are still at the beginning stages, so it may not be the best quality video, but we understand that and hopefully we'll be providing you guys with some better content as we move forward. Yeah. But once again, we're gonna need your help in order to do that. Yeah, so thank you yeah. for watching and enjoy. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of Jason and Carla unboxing the Universal Yums Christmas box. We're trying to come up with an idea for a YouTube channel. Possibly. Possibly. Think about it. So, we're taking suggestions for names for our channel, so feel free to leave us some comments in the comments below. Okay, we haven't so this, opened this yeah, yet. Right, so this is the first time seeing what's in the box. And, well, I can't really tell. Ta -da! Oh, it looks like chips. They always send chips, which is Holiday awesome. Adventure. So wonderful time of the year. With this one, it's not just a one country. They decided to pick from a bunch of them just to give a nice variety for the Christmas time. I'm gonna name all these for you. Uh, this is brand is Snackold. It's raspberry from from Buja. a gourmet potato crisp enough. raspberry yeah. flavor. You should read where this one's from. So I guess it's gonna have a raspberry flavor. So should we just open it and go for it? I think so. Handy dandy little notebook here. Raspberry potato chips. They might seem a little strange, but they're inspired by a Spanish New Year tradition. Spanish. Spanish. Alright, Spain, what do you got for us? What does it smell like? I like it. I don't know. It smells like a Tootsie Roll. It doesn't smell like that. Oh, that's a big one for you. Is it kind of flaky? Yeah. Kind of Ready? thin? Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, Raja. Well, that's the cat. That's actually really cool. It's um, it's kind of like a, a raspberry flavoring. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't taste like a raspberry, but just like the flavor, and it has like a sweet um hint to it. Hint. Yeah, it kind of throws you off because you're mm -hmm. expecting something, you know, salty. Something that you're familiar with, but... It's really good. The loop that it throws you for is that hint of raspberry. Never would have thought about adding something sweet like raspberry to uh, potato chips. That's but. really good. I like it. Okay. Um, also, we have to put up with that. The cap. For the whole month of December. We had to keep the bottom, uh, like, take off some of the ornaments because she kept knocking them off so okay um can you look at this one too yep all of them uh it, it's it's a ch you know chips again it doesn't say what flavor so you want to taste it and then we figure out the flavor yes let's do that i don't even know if it's in this okay it is i can't tell what the smell is ready mm-hmm It tastes like bacon. It tastes like a Turkey. pot roast. Yeah. Where is it? What is it? Roasted chicken flavor potato chip. Oh my gosh. And it actually legit tastes like chicken. Uh, to to me, it kind of tastes like turkey. Yeah. You know those that, that chicken and a biscuit mm -hmm. chips? Those don't even compare to this. This tastes like legitimate <laughs> meat from an animal, from a bird. <laughs> Okay, uh, this, I those. this is an alpine nut cake. Um, 
Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's really bright. Holy salt, Batman. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that is really salty for sure. Where is this from? It's a nut, a nut cake. Oh, there it is. Walnuts and honey. Swiss. From the Swiss Alps. Okay. Also, the this is... Not filling. Yeah. And sweet, crumbly outside. This is going to be a bit of a longer video because they do have a little extra stuff. So feel free to skip through. It's okay. We know we're not fun to listen to. <laughs> you want to go first? Okay, actually, this looks really cool. The light's really bright, but... Hmm? I'll go for it. Can't really smell anything. Mm. That's the inside. Blurry. Two different textures going on. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a, a shortbread on the outside. Yep. And the inside is soft and chewy. Mm -hmm. It's not a, an intense flavor either. It's just yeah. kind of there. It's nutty, but it's nice, low key sweet. Yeah, it's definitely not um, crazy sweet. No, but they're good. Ooh, this is a Philippine shortbread. It's purple. Oh, this is cool. I'm guessing it's from the Philippines. This is Philippine <laughs> shortbread. I would imagine so. It's a shortbread cookie, like you said, and it doesn't really give anything else. Apparently, they don't want us to know what it's from. The Philippines version of NYE. I don't know. Oh, New Year's Eve. Okay, cool. So I guess they use those or use these to celebrate New Year's Eve. So it kind of reminds me of a. Um, it looks like soap. Okay, you know what you the bath bath bomb. It looks mm. like a bath bomb. Yeah, like, like that's what the texture kind of looks a like. Cross section of bath bomb. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. This is weird. It kind of just like crumbles and melts in your mouth. The taste is, um, it's okay. I, it, it's kind of sweet. It's chalky. It's yeah, like that's what it is. It's chalky. Taking sidewalk chalk and chewing on it. <laughs> that's honestly what it is. It's purple chalk. Ooh. Baklava. Baklava. Cool. It's in this little box. F fancy little box there. <laughs> And the wrap very nice. I can already feel the sweet, like it's sweet, it's sticky at the bottom. Oh, they're so cute! They're like little miniature baklava. Yeah, little bites. Things. I'm just getting the whole thing. One. We just worked out, so we're kind of um, ruining the workout oh, by well. eating this stuff. But hey, we work out to eat this stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Mm, where's it from? I'm guessing off here. You know what? It's not as sweet as most baklavas. Probably American baklava. American made baklava. No, it's definitely not from Austria. Somewhere in the Middle East. It doesn't say. But apparently... Um, it's used during the month of Ramadan. Okay, so where is it from? Somewhere in the Middle East. Oh, okay. It probably says it's somewhere on here, too. Anyway, moving on. Okay, we're going to need... We oh, need wait. To... They fast during the month of Ramadan. Never mind. Um, we need something uh, salty because I can't take sweet right now. Savory rings with fennel seeds. So it kind of looks like a pretzel to me. We're trying to figure it out. Do you want to look at where this is from? <clears throat> like shapes. Italy. Really? Yeah. Fun fact. I've been to Italy. I went to um, Venice. Very touristy, but a pretty cool little place. I don't know about this. What would you eat these with? I don't know. It's 
it's the fennel seed that makes it taste interesting. Mmm. Locals enjoy the holiday, this thing, with mouth-watering appetizers served with wine. I might have read that wrong. Anyway. I feel like I, I almost need pasta sauce <laughs> to dip <laughs> yeah. it in a ranch. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do the chocolate bar or the... Oh, let's do this one. Okay. Nubal latte. Chocolate-coated biscuit with cream filling. And the cat is in the box. Or trying to be. Ooh, yummy. Ta da! It looks like a, um, a bonbon. Probably gonna be better though. <laughs> no, that's good. I could eat a whole box of those. You say that every time. I do. Well, it's true. That's good. Uh, Come on, Ryza. Gotta push the cat away. Okay, last but not least. How many were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're supposed to get six, but they tend to throw extras in once in a while. So this is a roasted almonds premium milk chocolate. Limited winter edition. Chocomunk. Where's it from? You know? Put your guesses in the comment section below. It shows like a man's face. Oh, there. It's really hard with the lighting. It's really big. I can't use this whole thing. You want to share so this one with me? Yeah, please? we'll sport it. Keep it brightish. Interesting. It's nice. It's different. It's chocolate. But not your normal chocolate. No. This has a different um, chocolatey taste to it. It has a perfume taste to it, in my opinion. Perfume taste. Yeah, there's some type of uh, aroma that's stuck in the chocolate. Also has some like. Oh, you know you're right. The more that I crispiness it. in it. Well, the almonds probably yeah. part of it. The roasted almonds. They didn't really taste like almonds. They tasted like Rice Krispies. You know, like a Crunch Bar. That's what this kind of remind me of. Well, that was the whole box. That was a Christmas edition. Um, we do spend fifteen dollars a box. If we were to subscribe for a entire year, the box would be around thirteen dollars. So we save two dollars a month. Um, we're not doing it right now, at least because we don't even know if we're going to do it every month. We just do it when we feel like it. Um, but it get, is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun because you get to try so many different things. And you never really know what's going to be in the box. Yeah. You can pretty much bank on chips Yeah. the entire time. There's always chips. There's always something um, sweet in it. You just don't know if it's going to be chocolate or something like baklava or something random like the Philippine shortbread that tastes really weird. That one, I think, was the weirdest for me. Yeah. Would not recommend <laughs> chalk. <laughs> but anyway, we hope you enjoyed this episode stay tuned for more because we will probably be doing more of these yeah uh and let us know if you think we should do a youtube channel we don't know i've been thinking about it who knows it would be fun it would be fun it would be fun um but, but also, we'll need your help yes we need your help we will and merry christmas and, happy and a happy new year because you won't see us again until maybe next month if we're doing it or not or you won't see us until next year Anywho. Bye fans. Bye bye.